Hey, pilots! Drain Man here, and today I have got a very special video. In today's video, I am going to take this 50 volt, $2,000 two and a half foot long 13 inch propeller monster drone and we are going to put dji in it and we're going to take it to the field let's go uh, uh. all right pilots this here is the cannonball 800 and it's made by catalyst machine works and the 800 stands for 800 millimeters that is two and a half feet long this guy is a monster now it runs two 6L batteries in series which makes it a 12S quadcopter all right now when you take a fully charged 6L battery you are about 25.2 volts times that by two and we are running 50 volts on this guy now I built this drone about a year and a half ago and I've got a full playlist if you want to check that out I go through everything from frame to soldering to setting up to taking it to the sky and it is awesome back then we were running analog and crossfire and it is stuff still good but today I don't really fly much of that so I thought what a good idea I'll put DJI in it and take it to the field and have a blast now, anybody curious about these little blue pringly things, which match my blue and pink theme, what those are is those are heat sinks, and I went ahead and used a thermally conductive. Thermal is temperature. Conductive means it will allow it to pass through. So that means it allows the heat to pass through. And this is basically just a heat sink. And the way that those prongs are fanned out, as I'm cruising through the air, the wind can blow through and keep these ESCs nice and cool. There is a lot of amperage and a lot of heat. <clears throat> Not the easiest to work with, but... <clears throat> All right, and that is how you open that. Everything on here worked perfectly fine, so I want to get this stuff out without making it not work perfectly fine. This is the guy we're going to be putting in right here. This is a DJI camera with a Cadix air unit light, aka Vista. I know you would think with such a big drone, you'd have plenty of space to work. Surprise, surprise. So, we drop this in, bloobity bloop. Now, we definitely got to figure out how to mount this. Kaboomity boom. So, this needs to mount here. This guy can go here. Okay, so the Vista has power. I use the DJI radio, so I just went ahead and put SBUS and uh, my signal ground. Now, the only thing left is an actual UART to get this guy connected. And I went ahead and printed some tubes that I can hopefully use to mount my camera right here. Let's try that out. Whew. Okay. It held, that's for sure. Now, I'll need to deal with the other side and stuff, but it is a lot of work trying to do that so the last thing I want to do is get everything set up everything finished everything put back together come to find out it's not working so what I'm gonna do is open up this brand new pack of rush FPV cherries I'm telling you right now I am loving these cherries and I'm gonna thread one right here 
and you know we'll lock it down better and all that later but just for right now let's uh plug this in and see what happens hey 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 all right pot so here's the deal we've got the flight controller wired up we've got the vista mounted i mean antenna's loose we got a little bit of work left to do but it's in it's working <laughs> i'm excited all right vista's in and ain't going nowhere camera still a little figuring out left to do here let's see let's see if my math was any good uh-huh can i get a damn close can i get a damn close I rest my case okay now we flip up and let's mount our flight controller all the way on I need to make sure she ain't gonna be moving around on me now can I reach that show sure enough all right so soft mounted but yet tight that's sealed up. The only thing left to do, guys, is let's make sure our camera wire isn't touching the Vista. Because that Vista does get hot. Now we are ready to put this back in here. So this goes through here. Quick recap, mounted the camera. This is a very large cage. As you can see, it's, it's something like 35 millimeters. Camera's only, no, it's like 40 millimeters. Camera is only 20 millimeters. So I had to make up for 10, 10, somewhere. It's a little bit under that, but uh, we 3D printed our own custom dealio. We got it in, boom, uh, mounted the Vista on top, and I'm talking hard mount, not no uh, double side sticky tape. We went ahead and put uh, caddy corner screws through the bottom. Now, on the other end, boom, coming through for our flight controller mounted up under. We got a brand new antenna on, a cherry left hand polarization we are ready to go i'm going to throw the props in my bag i'm going to throw this in the truck and we are out oh that's a big girl all right so she's ready to ride you ready to ride good girl Let's go. All right, go ahead and put the prop on. No, the right prop, silly. <laughs> Hot damn! Right here, this is the battery tray. This is a 3,300 milliamp hour pack, and this is a 3,300 milliamp hour pack. I know in your mind you are thinking that you're going to have 6600 milliamp hours this is that that's just not what's happening here because these are ran in series so we are taking the voltage and multiplying taking the milliamp hour capacity and we are not multiplying so this is still 3300 milliamp hours just at 50 volts 12s all right all right here's how it goes in slide it right up into the cubby hole boom boom we pop the pin and boom make sure she locks in place which sometimes you got to give it a wiggy there you go and those ain't going nowhere so our very expensive batteries are protected all right ready freddy let's do it all right stand back this thing's dangerous yeah i don't need anybody getting hurt all right you probably wouldn't even get hurt you'd probably just die <laughs> Hit him.